Hello everyone, this is Emmanuel, your Elementor mentor, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use the sliders element in your Elementor website and make it look really great. So if we come here to your toolbox and you have Elementor Pro, you are going to look for an element called slides, this one right here. So what you want to do is create a brand new section that you want to use for that slider. We're going to make one right up here. And we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the slides element right in. And we can see that by default it has three slides. One that is blue, one that is green, and one that is purple. These are the default slides with some animations and some default text. Honestly, it looks kind of ugly like this. So I'm going to show you how to make it look really professional and nice. All right, so the first thing you should note is that you can actually remove slides by pressing the X or add a slide by clicking add item and that will let you add a brand new slide. So the first thing I like to do when I'm setting up a slide is get rid of this white border. By default, there's this white border all the way around that does not look that great. So to get rid of this, we're gonna come here to the section options and click right there. And where it says column gap, we're going to choose no gap. By default, Elementor adds a small gap to almost all the parts of the website. And by putting no gap, we remove it, allowing this element to go all the way to the edge. Now, usually sliders are used for the introductory or hero section of the website. And usually you want them to be a little bit bigger than this. So to make this a little bit taller, all we have to do is come here to edit this slider. And here where it says height, we can set a pixel amount for how many pixels tall we want it to be. Now, honestly, the way that I like to set it up is using this VH element, because when you use pixels, this can vary a lot by the device. So somebody with a really high resolution screen might have a lot of pixels just in a window, and somebody with a lower resolution screen might have less pixels in the same size. But by using VH, it's actually a percentage of the screen. So for example, here, if I put 65, it says, uh, it's basically telling this slider to take up 65% of the screen, and it will take up 65% of the screen regardless of what device it's on. So your slider will look uh, the same regardless of what device it's on. So uh, usually like having it a little bit bigger. So let's do 80%. That way it takes up most of the screen, but you can still see that there's more content when you come to the website. So let's go ahead and get started on working on this first slide. There's a few different options. We have the option to set a background image and a background color. Uh, let's go here and set up an image first. Let's pick an image from our library. This one looks really great. Let's insert it. All right, there is our image. And I'm going to go ahead and delete these other two sliders for now, just so that they're not as distracting. So here we have our first slider. Now, there's different things that we can do to kind of make it pop more. First, this uh, color, let's go ahead and make it all the way transparent. Sometimes when we load up the website, that uh, color will show up before the image loads and it can make the website look a little bit ugly. So I always set it to transparent. For the image size, make sure it's set to cover. You can set it to contain, but if your image is not big enough, you might get these gaps. Or you can set it to auto, but that doesn't always make it look perfect. Cover is a great option. Next is this option here called Ken Burns Effect. This is a really great option to make uh, this slider have a nice animation. If we turn it on, we can see that this image slowly zooms in and out, and it's a nice soft animation that calls attention to this slider, and I think it looks really great most of the time. You can make it zoom in, or you can make it zoom out. I'm gonna leave it as zoom in. The next option we have here is the background overlay. This is really good. Right now we can see that the background is a white snowy mountain and our text is also white, which makes it a little bit hard to read. So we can turn on this overlay and then for the color, by default, it's a little bit gray. You can choose whatever color you want and whatever opacity you want for your slider. Uh, for me, I'm gonna choose a blue tone, maybe a dark blue and maybe not so opaque, just like this. And I think that looks really Great. So this is how we set up the styling for this uh, first section here. Now, uh, after, once we have set up the styling for the background, we can move over to the content. So the content is going to be what is uh, the information that is shown on our slider. So here we have heading one. Here we can write whatever we want. For example, I can write hello. And that can be the first part. And then under that, you can have 
um, a different section or more text or uh, a line break. I usually like having two sentences uh, just to make it look really nice. Next, we have the button text. So whatever you want the button to say, for example, I'm going to write contact us right there. And next, you can have the link. I want this to link to the contact page. So if you type up contact, it will actually give you the option to fill in the contact page right here. Next, we have the options to uh, how you want the link to work. So actually right now, it says apply link on the whole slide. What this means is that they don't actually have to click the button for it to link them. They can click anywhere on the slide. The whole slide is a link. I'm going to change this to only the button so that if they accidentally click on the picture, they don't go somewhere they didn't mean to. They'll have to click right on the button. All right, so we've set up the content, the written text, and our button. Next, we can go to style. And there's a few custom options here that we can look at. For example, I like setting the position a little bit to the left. This way, you know, you can see more of the image and we can also align the text to the left just like this. That leaves the picture nice and visible and the content here to the left. Content color, we can change the color of the text uh, and the button, but I think white looks good. So I'm going to leave it as white. If we scroll down, there's a, some additional slider options. We can see here that the slider will auto play. So that's fine. We wanted to do that. Pause and hover. That means that when somebody hovers their mouse, over a specific slide, it won't slide. I'm going to turn that off because sometimes uh, people will rest with their mouse and they won't know that there are more slides. Uh, pause on interaction. This is yes. This is, for example, if they actually click and they're holding the screen. We want it to keep looping and the transition right now is slide. There's other transitions that we can use like fade. Uh, to see those, let's come back here to the slides and let's duplicate the slide and duplicate it once more. Now there are three slides. Let's pick different images. So for the second slide, let's choose this one and insert it. And for the third slide, let's choose this one and insert it. And we can say different text here. So for example, here we can say welcome. And maybe for the last one, we can say start here. Just like that. All right, so now we have our three slides we can click through them right here and we can see that we have this nice animation so if we come back here to slider options content animation is up we can change that so it can be for example down and then you can see how that will change it comes from the top uh, up right left left might look good since the content is left aligned we can see that it comes in from the left like that and there's zoom and we can see how that looks it zooms in from the center, which looks really nice. We can also change the effect of the transition. So for example, we can have it set to fade. And if we have it set to fade, when we click next, it will fade in and zoom in. So for example, we can have fade and left, and that will give us a really nice effect of the text coming in and the image fading. Uh, and it's keeping the same effect where it zooms in in the background. So that looks really great. Now there's some additional settings that we can use to customize our slider even more. If we come here to style, we can see uh, some options for the content width. So if we make this wider, uh, this pretty much defines how wide from side to side this information will go. So for example, if I make it smaller, you can see that it kind of squishes the text right here. Um, I think where it was at 70 or 60 is pretty good. Um, we can also change the positioning uh, of the content, but we already did that in the other settings in the text align. We've already done that as well in the actual content settings. But if you hadn't done it there, you can do it here. So for title, we can actually customize the formatting of the title and text. For example, we can change the font. If we come here, we can type in the font here. For example, we can use Open Sans and that will change the font and we can choose a font size. Since we've already set a text color in the slider options, this text color here won't really matter. It's going to use the settings that we set here in the content. If we turn off the settings in the content, then we can set custom colors here. For description, we have the same options. We can set up a font that we like, like Open Sans, and a font size that we like, like maybe 2022. And then for the button, we can also set custom styling. So for example, we can have some border radius to make it a circular button, like 30. 
and we can add text color to the button and so we can make the button for example black and the background color white and the text color black so we can see here that the text color is not changing that's because of the default settings that we set here in content but if we come back here to slider options and under slides uh, let me see where I did that content button there were some set style settings here let me oh here style here you are T content color is white if we just uh, reset this by clicking the reset button it will remove those settings and we'll go ahead and reset them from here as well so if we go to style we go to color and then we're going to use this reset button right here that will reset the options. So if you're ever stuck and you're not sure where the settings are, just look for this reset button and that will reset uh, whatever is being controlled. In this case, that happened because the colors can be controlled from the slides option and they can also be controlled from the styles option. So if I set a color here in the slides option, that will override the styles option. So there's two places where we can control the colors and that's why sometimes uh, the settings uh, will always choose one over the other. So we've got here our text, our subheading and our button and that looks really great let's minimize this right here and we can see that we've created a slider now the slider does not go all the way across because we set that 70 percent option but if we come back here and we go to 100 percent and now we close right here we can see that it's still not going all the way across and that is because we probably have to go here to this section and change the content width from box to full width Let's try that again. And there we go, now we have 100%. And we can see here that the slider looks really good as we click through it. And we can see the animations and uh, all the effects that we've added. Now there's a few more things that we can customize. For example, we can customize the size and color of these arrows as well as the navigation dots down here. So if we come here to navigation and we can see where the arrows are positioned. Right now it's inside. If this didn't go from side to side, you could put them on the outside, but almost nobody uses them that way. Uh, so we're gonna leave them inside. We can change the size of the arrow to be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, depending how it looks good for you. And we can also change the color of the arrow to whatever color you would like, uh, and color that looks good with the background that you are using. The dots, we can also change. So for example here, you can barely see them because they're very dark and they're hard to see against this background. So we can change the color to white and we can change the size to be a little bit bigger like uh, this 10, I think is pretty good. And that makes it easier to see where the dots are. And when you click next, you can easily see how many other slides there are. So the last thing we want to do before we finish is come here to responsive mode and go to mobile view and make sure that our slider also looks good on mobile. We can see that uh, it does not look good on mobile. It's kind of all crunched up. It doesn't really fit very well. So let's make a few changes to make it look good. The first thing we want to do is uh, maybe on mobile, we want to uh, have these arrows be a little bit more transparent so they're not so much in the way of the content. Next thing is here on slides, we probably want the mobile width to be a little bit more, maybe 100% so we can use up all the space. Um, and if we go to title, we might want the text to be a little bit smaller on mobile. Let's set it to be 25 pixels, just like this. And then for the description, let's also set this to be a little bit smaller on mobile, just like, there you go. Uh, also here under slides, let's add some padding, maybe 20 pixels, or maybe 40, maybe 50. There you go. That way there is some space around it. And now we can see our slider is looking pretty good here on mobile, and it's also looking great here on desktop. Let's go ahead and click update to save those changes. And if you guys have been liking this video and learning from them, please leave a like. It helps YouTube show this video to more people. And remember to subscribe uh, so you can see more videos just like these when I make them. All right, so let's go ahead and hit preview. And we're going to see how it looks. And here is our slider for our website. We can see how it animates and it scrolls through with the animation of the text and the animation in this beautiful background image. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Emmanuel, your Elementor mentor, and have an excellent day. Bye-bye.